Creating a histogram from a frequency table. We'll start in statistics and you'll notice I've already entered the uh, scores here. So the dice with faces one to six was thrown with these frequencies and we want to have a look at a histogram of this distribution. So we start off by tapping on set graph and check that the only thing, the only item ticked in this first screen is stat graph one and then tap on to setting. And in there we can choose the type of graph we want is going to be a histogram. And there are only two options with a histogram, the X list and the frequencies. Now we've put the scores one to six in list one, but the frequencies are in list two. So from the drop down menu, we'll choose list two. Uh, check that draw is on, it is, and tap set. So we're all ready, we just tap on the draw graph icon and up comes the set interval. Now I'm going to start at one uh, and go in steps of one as well. So I'll tap into the next window and use the buttons on the keypad to enter one and tap execute. That's great. That means that we're going to start our classes for our histogram. We'll go from one in steps of one up to two and then two to three, three to four and so on. We'll tap OK and the histogram's drawn. Uh, optional is to tap resize at the bottom here. Uh, that kind of clears the screen of everything else and we can see the distribution. To trace along and count the frequencies here, there is the trace icon, X, Y here. It pops in on the first uh, histogram bar here and we can see that for this class one to two, the frequency count is 16. Tapping across with the cursor key, we can go from uh, bar to bar and check out the frequencies at the bottom. When we're finished, then we simply tap the cross icon top right corner of the screen and we're back to the main part of statistics.